Burr is a Python library that has you express your application as a state machine. It makes it easy to develop LLM applications that make decisions. So for example, chatbots, agents, or simulations. In this video, I'm gonna get it to help me generate YouTube video titles from a description. So we're gonna start out simple and have it generate us 10 video titles. But by the end of the video, we'll have introduced some transitions so that we can have the LLM generate more titles like the ones that we like. So let's create app.py. We're gonna bring in some imports and then we're gonna initialize the rich console and open AI. We're gonna be using instructor so that we can create structured outputs from what the LLM gives us. We're then gonna create ourselves a function. So it's gonna have an action so we can say, what state do you wanna read? So in this case, nothing. And then we're gonna write some state to burst. It's gonna be post and description. Now, anything that you put in the write, you need to make sure that you write that state in your function, otherwise it's gonna throw an exception. We're now gonna create our function, so it's gonna be generate titles will pass in the state then the description so that's going to come from the user and then we're going to have our LLM client and we'll return some state then we're going to initialize our prompt from the description and then we'll call the LLM passing in the model and then the response model is going to be video so it's going to take the response and convert it to video now video is a pedantic model that has just one field which is titles which is a list of strings and you can see it's ideas for video titles it needs to be a minimum of 10 and a maximum of 10 so i.e 10. If we come back you can see we then need to pass in our messages so this is just kind of normal llm flow so tell it the system message this is what you're going to do and then the user message is going to be the prompt and then we'll update the burst state at the end passing in the post and the description so remember those were the two things that were in our annotation at the top. Now we're gonna initialize our application. So we'll use the application builder. We're gonna pass in an action. So normally this could be just the name of a function, unless you wanna bind in a value that is somewhere else. So i.e. in our case, we wanna get the LLM client and bring that in. And then we're gonna have transitions. So we'll leave that empty for the moment. And then we need to tell it where does it, where should it start? So the entry point. So that's gonna be generate titles, and then we'll build it. And then we're now gonna paste in our video description. So this is a description of a video that I made on Llama 3.2 Vision. We're then gonna create ourselves some inputs. So we always need to have some inputs. This time it's just gonna be a description. Then we're gonna capture the action, the result and the state from calling application.run. We'll have halt before, that's gonna be empty. So halt before means when you reach this state or I, you're gonna call this function, I want you to call me before you call it. So at the moment, nothing there. Halt after is gonna be generate title. So after you've called that, I want you to return control back to me and then we'll pass in the inputs. And then we're gonna print out the action and we're gonna iterate through the titles that it's generated and print them to the screen. Let's come over to another tab and we're gonna run our application using UV. And you can see it comes back, it tells us the state or the action is generate titles and it's given us a bunch of titles that might be interesting. Now we're gonna update it to ask us to select our favorite titles. And for now, we'll just print out the ones that we've selected. So I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna add in a wild true loop. So it's kinda of gonna go round and round and round. We'll just tab the other code across and then we're gonna delete the bit from action downwards. We'll put that up to the top of the screen so we can see everything. And we're gonna write in some new actions that we're gonna create in just a minute. So we're gonna have one called select favorites. And it's gonna say, which ones do you like? and it's then gonna print out the ones that have been generated. And then we're gonna ask us, so we'll have an input to ask us which numbers do we like. Uh, once we've got that input, we're gonna convert it into a list splitting on the comma. So we're expecting like to, the user, i.e. me, to write in which ones do you like. So e.g. five comma seven comma eight, and then it will create a list out of those. And then we're gonna have another state or another function called final result. And here it will print out the ones that we like. And if we get to this state, we are now done. There's nothing else to do and we're gonna break out. Let's now come up and we're gonna add in a halt before condition. So that's gonna be select favorites. So just to remember, halt before means when it's gonna go into this function or into this state, give us back control before you do anything. So before you call select favorites, ask me, cause I'm gonna then tell you what my favorites are and then you can call the select favorites function. And then halt after is gonna be now final result. Let's come up to the top and let's write ourselves our select favorites function. So that's gonna take in the favorites. We're gonna convert it from string index uh, values to integers. And then we're gonna go and look up in the post titles. We're gonna go and pull out the indexes so that we actually look, get the values instead of the numbers. And then we're gonna update our state. So we're gonna have the favorites. So that's just gonna be a list of values. And then we're gonna have a favorites draft. That's gonna be appended. So we're gonna have a list of lists inside that favorites draft. And then let's write our other function. So final results. So this is gonna be the one that then gives us back the result. First thing it's gonna do, flatten out those lists and then we'll write it into the variable or the state variable, final result. 
Let's now come down to actions and add those actions in. So we need select favorites and final results to be actions. And now we're gonna add our first transition. So what this means is after you've done the first thing, do the next thing. So I first one's gonna be after you've done generate titles, go to select favorites. Remember it comes back to us before it does select favorites. And then after you've done select favorites, go to final result. Now let's run it again. And you can see this time it asks us to choose our favorites. So let's choose some and you can see it just immediately prints them out. So now we want to add in a loop to make this more interesting. So after we've chosen our favorites, we want it to go back to the LLM and try and generate some more like the ones that we said are our favorites. So we want to go from select favorites back to generate titles if we provide some favorites. If not, it can still go to final result and finish. So we're going to go and add in a new transition. So this one's going to be from select favorites to generate titles if the length of favorites is greater than zero. So it's going to go and look at the favorites state and check, did we provide some favorites? Okay, cool. Let's go and generate some more. And if we didn't, then we're done. We can exit. And then the other thing we're going to do is we're going to add in a new transition from process description to generate titles. And the reason that we need to do this is we need to add in a new state to capture the initial description and make sure it's in the state available or all, all the time, uh, because we're not going to be passing it in to generate titles anymore. And we're going to just go down and tweak our entry point to become process description. Let's add in process description as an action. And now it's time to write that function. It's not going to do anything too complicated. It's going to write the description that we received from the user, i.e. the video description, and just write it into state. Next, let's update generate titles. We're not going to write the description anymore. So let's delete that from right. We're going to be reading from description and favorites. Description won't be a parameter anymore so either. So let's get rid of that. Prompt now comes from state description and we're going to tell it that if there are favorites, we want to use a different prompt where we tell the LLM, hey, I liked these ones that you came up with. Can we come up with some more like that? And then let's not write out the description into state anymore. And then finally, we'll come down to the bottom and we need to initialize the favorites to be an empty array. Otherwise, we'll get an exception the first time that generate titles gets called because at that point, there are no favorites. Now let's run it again. You can see it asks for some favorites, so we'll pick some. It then asks us for some more favorites and we'll pick some again. And then the last time we're just gonna say, I don't want any more and we'll press enter and you see then it prints out the ones that we've chosen. There's way more stuff that you can do with Burr. This is kind of just skimming the surface. You can do telemetry, you can do persisting state to disk. They've got loads of really cool examples. So maybe we'll have a look at it more in another video. And this is sort of borderline agentic AI, although it is obviously very simple. I also created a video for a similar library called Langroid. So you might want to check out that one next.